Hey everyone, Soundway84 here with the Transformers Power of the Primes review. Today we're looking at Voyager Class Inferno. Yes, this is Wave 3's Inferno. I have yet to find Wave 2 Hungar. I've seen Alita 1, didn't pick her up figure and I'd get her later. Mistake, because I can't find her anywhere. But they are starting to pop up in some Walmarts a lot now. But I did find Inferno first. So, nice little artwork here in the front of the box. And of course on the side box you his combined mode. And turn up in the back, and it has some large tubs for the other ones. And there's 22 steps, and yes, he is a hot spot repaint with a new head sculpt. And I'm going to show you right off the bat, in the back of the package it shows these black feet, which look like Hungar's uh, purple ones, but just painted black. He does not come, at least my copy, and I've seen a few on the internet, people have posted that theirs did not come with those feet. They came, and then mine came with these. Instead of having the skinny little like pole like looking guns come on the side, he has these bigger chunks come on the side. And I believe these are some the same feet that uh Starscream comes with, but I'm not positive. I'd have to go dig mine out to look. But yeah. And I'll show you this this causes a problem with some uh way you can do something later and I'll, I'll show that off. But also he comes with of course his instruction manual and you can see his guns up here and that's where the problem comes in and it shows you here because even the instruction manual it shows those guns as well and this is the card I got and I got Liege Maximo Inferno he spits ultra hot takes on Autobot radio okay cool sure thing man and this is the little uh, prime master thing whatever he comes with that you can store inside the combiner feet or throw on the table whichever you choose um, but yeah you stick it right in there yeah, this stays pretty well um, he's also kind of thing you can change them out in the matrixes that come with uh, hot rod or Robin's Prime and Optimus Prime you can put these in there instead and so let's take a look at the figure himself and this is Inferno now overall, when I first saw the figure in the box, I, and also when, you know, when he was announced, I wasn't too excited. I mean, I like Inferno as a character. I like to get Inferno. He is G1 to me. But this, to me, was not Inferno. Um, so in package, he was sort of disappointed, especially his face looked like he was just constipated. Um, but as I got him out of the package and have toyed with him today, I actually, the face has grown on me some, and I do love the colors of the figure. And I think they look really good. Actually, I think, you know, I'm also like the colors of him better, of course, than Hotspot. So, let's take a quick glance at the figure. You can see where he has some stickers here, here, and on his waist here, which are done, are applied unevenly. And yeah, this Autobot logo is a sticker, as well as the one back here on his uh, fire ladder. There we go. Um, so yeah, he also has lots of paint apps. I don't think he has as much as Hotspot does, but he does have paint here. And this is painted black here. His hands and the silver around him. Black here. The yellow. Of course he has a lot more on his head. He's got some silver paint on the sides of his legs. And also back here, and you see his combiner head will have some paint as well. And there's a touch of red down here on the bottom. Yeah. So, now overall, he is a really nice figure. I want to say the tabs on this guy and his joints are really nice and clickety. They're tight. Uh, so, overall, those are really, really good in this figure. And I take a look at his head sculpt there. Uh, I do like it, actually. And I could just say it looks like he's, I guess, kind of growling. It's like, Rrr. I don't know. But it's nice. I do like it. And I guess raise a little bit. You see he's got some paint silver up here on his head. It's sort of reminiscent of the G1 toy, the black with the yellow little horns on the side. It also comes with two weapons, two guns here, two blasters, and you can tab them into his hands. I'm just going to show one in his hand for right now. Um, so, he, you know, so you can take him dual wield. He's got a lot of good movement and bends on his joints there, so you can pose him well. Now the other thing you can do with these guns, of course you know what you can do because of hot uh, onslaught, you know, there's a little holes here where you can just tap the guns in the back. But the other thing is these were meant to fulfill, which makes it hard because of this piece here instead of being the skinny little pieces. But these little 
pegs, there's holes on the back of his shoulders for these to tab in. And because of these little triangular foot pieces sticking out and not the little skinny piece, you see instead of being straight up and down, they are at an angle. And the guns here, you're supposed to take them and you just tap them into the holes up here. And this is especially another feature of this toy, which now with this one being packaged with their own feet, I don't know if that's a widespread issue or not. Uh, but now, there's camera dead. They are crooked a little bit in the back. It doesn't look as good as what they had, I guess, first visualized for this toy. But it's because of the tabs on the back, now these things can move slightly the other way. The little ratchet joints for the ankle articulation in combined mode. Now, I do like that look. These are a bit high, though. I wish they were a little bit lower. I don't know if the other feet would have had them lower. Uh, just to show you in the instruction manual here that. Uh, let's pull that over. See how these are the skinnier pieces? It doesn't work that way. But you tab them in the back. And the guns go in. They look to be lower. And it shows it here in the front. And you can see how that this looks here. Whereas mine does not have that look. But yeah. It's a nice little feature. And I kind of like that way that the guns come up over his shoulders. Uh, but. Oh, take those out. But yeah, I guess, yeah, that was a problem there. I, like I said, I don't know if it's widespread. I have seen it posted on uh, Facebook from other and other Transformer groups that they got those kind of feet, not the feet that was on the back of the box. Um, so I don't know if that was a manufacturing uh, error there in the packaging or if that's just a running change. They changed the feet to the way those feet. I don't know. <clears throat> Lower articulation. If you have hotspot, you have onslaught, you know what this guy can do. I uh, go out to there. You know, he's got all the bells and whistles here. Of course, there's no waist, there's no wrist swivels, but he's got everything else. Um, and even with the transformation of this, when you try to pose them, you can actually move these to get some extra, you know, you know, you want to try to walk and pose, you can make those be sort of his toes. The head sculpt, there's really no up and down movement. You got very limited. Now, if you untab that, you get a lot of down. But, otherwise, it's just pretty much left to right. Movement. But you get everything else and some knee bends. Of course, this big, humongous ladder in the back gets in the way. Of course, you can move it. Now, of course, in transformation, remember when you transform, you got to get that certain tab in right there. Those are a little bit tricky. Otherwise, I I'm actually very pleased with this figure, more so than I thought I would be. Um, I do like the hotspot mold. And I'll we'll show him off with him now. Here is Hotspot. As you can see, they are exactly the same mold. There's nothing different on these guys except the head and the paint, and the colors. Inside views. You've already seen the side, and here's the front on again. Like I said, they do look nice together. I mean, it's just I wish they had just retooled uh, Inferno just slightly, like they did with Onslaught. You know, just to make them slightly different. But you can see here, uh, Hotspot has the paint down here, whereas Inferno sadly does not. <coughs> but overall, I still think they look they look good together. And Inferno is not, you know, a bad figure by any means. And here they are in their combined torso modes. You can see it's exactly the same figure, exactly the same mold. I mean, the, they didn't change anything. The head's even the same. They just painted it different. Um, he has an Autobot logo there. He has absolutely nothing. So I guess you can always you know, apply one at your own free will. I just kind of wish I gave him a different head sculpt just to differentiate them a little bit more. But I guess you would say you can play your toys and have Hotspot die and Inferno pick up the mantle of Defensor, yeah. And here's Inferno in his fire truck mode. You see he has another set of stickers I overlooked because it's inside of his thigh, but he's got these FD for standard fire department stickers that will show up on the outside of the fire truck. And they do closely resemble uh, the ones from the G1 
for the red alert. But overall, he rolls pretty decently. And overall, he looks really, really good. Like a fire truck should. So, pretty sure overall, the paint out, so there's really nothing new besides the stickers here that you're really going to see in this mode that you didn't see in robot mode. This is him with Hotspot. A good comparison here. As you can see, they are pretty much the same thing. This is where he has the fire department stickers. He has tempoed on him, fire and rescue with the other logo and his little hotspot. Otherwise, they're the same. Exactly. Vehicle. And show off his other mold mate. This is Onslaught. And the difference here is Onslaught is actually just reversed of how they are. Instead of having these kind of feet, he has these feet, which, you know, it just, it actually it just changes something around just a little bit. It just changes pretty much the whole look of a figure. I just wish they kind of got rid of these uh, siren, the lights up top. I mean, did do that. But, yeah. That's him with Onslaught. A lot longer. Hot spot is, I mean, Inferno is because the feet come here and they add up by three quarters of an inch of length. And also, he has this big long ladder with this stuff sticking out. Overall, is he worth a buy? If you're an Inferno fan, yes, you will want to get you an Inferno. If you are a completist, of course. If you were disappointed in Onslaught or Hot Spot, skip. If you have Hot Spot and don't feel like double dipping on the same mold, skip. Uh, but overall, if you like Hotspot, you're going to like this figure. Uh, it's nothing really any different. Uh, I think some of the joints and stuff actually feel a little bit better on this. Um, like I said, the main problem of this figure is the fact that these are not what was you know, shown on the box or in the instructions. And it sort of hampers the little extra feature these have to the figure. But overall, the figure, as I say, is a very nice interpretation of Inferno. Like I said, I kind of wish they had changed some of something about it, like they did with Onslaught, just to give it a different feel and maybe a different fire truck. But overall, he is a very good figure and one I'm, I'm actually happy I own. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next one, peace out.